Hello viewers, and welcome back once again to our Let's Play of Transocean. Excuse me, I really need to move this mic. There we go. So, uh, like I had said last time, we this will probably be the last episode for this game, more or less, because um, I'd, I'd imagine that the gameplay was pretty similar going forwards from here. So with that said, I figured we'd end this off with something around the 20 minute mark or so. So uh, with that said, let's see how far we can get into it within that time. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, all for right now, I think we've been just doing more or less, uh, yeah, just more training, trading and stuff of, of the such for the last uh, bit of time. That was pretty much it. So, uh, with that said, I think I'll just call it, like, I'll, I'll keep pushing for the reputation thing here. And with that kept in mind, let's ship some postals that were, you know, posting parcels right here just to start things off. So, I mean, yeah, it looks like, oh, that's right, and defaults to, um, on Docking. So I guess we'll check out the port of Sydney. So, um, let's see, what was I gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say that we practically che pretty much just checked out all of the content inside the game, really, apart from some of the bigger ships. Uh, there probably isn't all too much to it, actually. So, uh, just ending off, I figured we'd just put out one more episode, end it on good note right here. And I'm actually kind of wondering, what is this, uh, oh, do we get to, we're well, now we don't really get to see the, the in-depth portions of the part. But we get to see a landmark right there, so that isn't too bad. Oh, that's right, I was gonna say that, yeah, it doesn't really seem to be, say, too much, um, to do outside of that. Would you just look at that drifting action right there? That is quite impressive, and over here they just seem to have a poorly done airfield or something. I think it's an airfield. Yeah, it is an airfield. Just because, really. So that is, uh, yeah. Just something like that. It'd be actually kind of cool if they, uh, they could allow you to transport, like, uh, natural gas or oil in the form of, like, actual tanker ships. I think that'd be kind of neat. But, um, just look at this drifting action, though. I've gotta say, they've, uh... Yeah, the drifting parts were, you know, the driving parts, despite being kind of hard to park the ships, it's actually quite fun leaving the ports. Uh, either way, we'll just get out over here, grab some more reputation, and uh, be on our way. And oh, that's right, I think we bought this ship, the Panamax class vessel, which is more or less just sitting over here in Bangkok for whatever reason. I'm gonna check whether or not I had a company contract with it, because I might have. Uh, either way, we can carry a lot of stuff on this ship. Um, if I bring up that menu, it should say that, yeah, we should be able to carry just an absolute absurd tonnage of stuff. I already have the ship upgraded with a whole bunch of stuff, some uh, coolant uh, stuff like that. So, um, here, you know what I'm do? I'm gonna get this big ship to be able to carry all of the, uh, the, the hazardous stuff here. And we have enough money to sit here for a bit, so I think we will. And I just want to um, see what I can do here with the Spectre. So, yeah, these things should scale up with the ships, and would you look at that, we can deliver 2,000 tons of weapons to Australia, so we might as well. Um, what else can we switch over there? It looks like the, yeah, it looks like the, the weapons are honestly the most profitable thing. And we might as well just try to do perhaps postal, or you know, post and parcels to Melbourne um, as well, just because it's kind of nearby. So that's it. Let's cast off, and I think I'll do this one manually, because I believe the bigger the ship, the, um, yeah, it makes sense, right? The, the wider the camera angle. So hopefully we'll be able to see the entirety of the ship right there. And would you look at that? All of the neat uh, cargo things were, you know, cargo freight boxes loaded up. Though there's still some room right here, right here, that we can, of course, fill up. Uh, but either way, let's get uh, the port going here. And man, it would be really, really nice if they actually made some sort of a Sim City game. I mean, if they had the time, because they do, uh, the game engine's really, really good at doing these buildings, and of course, the freight is wonderful as well. So, um, oh, actually, for this port, this one might be more challenging. We have this huge ship in a nice condition. And the only way I can see us turning around is, uh, it's not really turning in itself. Oh, I think I just scraped the edge of that. It's not really turning in itself, but kind of just like seesawing back and forth till we get out of here. I think I... Yeah, I think I'm taking some damage to 2%, not that bad, but um, still something. And, oh, would you look at that? We have some uh, competition here. I wonder if you can ram the two ships as well. Be definitely kind of neat to, uh, damn, see what that does. Oh, well. 
We'll get the big ship to do that, and we'll get it to go. So it looks like we got some stuff for medical things, something, something to search. Either way, uh, we'll dock in here, we'll unlock a new city, and we'll pick up some more goods and get some stuff going off here. So let's go to Anchorage, and we'll fuel up too. And, oh! Nah, I think I'll skip these portions, because these ports, well, I, I personally don't really know them, and I'd imagine that most people don't either. So, uh, we'll just cast off this one right away. So we'll call Tug. And, yeah, call Tug. And just do something along the lines of that. So there... One thing that I've got to say is that at one point it's it gets actually quite uh, quite difficult to manage all of the ships that you have. So yeah, they uh, it, it would be really nice if they had some sort of a, a thing that does this for us. And oh, I wonder what happens if I do this. Like say for example, can I take a contract with alcoholic beverages? And I mean, we're going to be ending this game soon enough, so I'm I'm going to see whether or not this works. And would you look at that pirates attacks? So we had to pay them unless we uh, want to lose the ship. But I'm going to see whether or not we can transport say the uh, the goods without I'd, I'd imagine for the licensing ones you do indeed have to, but for um for say the other ones, I wanted to see whether or not it actually does anything if uh, if we don't have like the the storage for them, if you will. So uh, we'll do that, and that was a really quick journey for such a big boat. So I think we'll just get it to fill up, go to the contract lists once more, and you know what? Let's go by um, let's go by TU. Let's see what uh, what we can carry the most of here, and actually that's not really worth it. So. I guess we'll just go by contract price, contract value, check here, uh, yeah that's gonna be machinery so I guess we'll just deliver some mail to New York and get that set off as well. So that's kind of cool, um, yeah not really too many important messages that we have to keep track of, so that's kind of uh, just there I guess. Pick up something else, pick up some textiles and we'll just quickly ship these as well. And oh, there you go. We unlock a new port with this metal delivery as well. And oh, yikes! There's uh, some high fees in docking here. We're not docking here, but there's uh, just some very expensive stuff going over here, unfortunately. Expensive fuel products. So uh, we'll do something like that. And at this point inside the game, it might be worthwhile checking out how many ports we have left to go to, like, fully unlock the uh, the world. So, um, there's Dakar, and then there's uh, Cape Town, South Africa. There's Buenos Aires, and then there's, um, not really sure about that place. And, oh my oh my, would you look at that? We haven't docked in New York, apparently. So, uh, this one I think we will do by ourselves, just to see the Statue of Liberty and all. Well, I don't know, I think we might have done this one before, but, um... Yeah, pretty sure we have. Might not have. Yeah, I think we did. Or no, apparently we uh, we haven't been here. Or no, that no, that that couldn't have been the first bit of our let's try because from what I remember, we didn't unlock the entirety of the world. So uh, in that case, let's <laughs> crazy boat drifting over here. Um, let's take a look at the Statue of Liberty here. If the if the game allows us to go like slightly forwards here. And all that we will, because I think it's quite neat. And the modeling isn't—it isn't bad for um, for the game type, right? So it's pretty cool, like that. And let's just swing over, just like that. Intense uh, boat drifting right there. And I'd imagine that the scales for these uh, map boundaries and all are quite off as well, because it looks like yeah, the port is just way too close, or maybe it's just because. We're piloting such a large boat. And would you look at that? All of the tiny little cars right there. And oh, look at that. That thing moves too. So you got some traffic there. I think we saw some traffic on the uh, the bridges once and not much. Um, intense turning action here after that. But yeah, it looks like the game has the stuff. Yeah, it looks like the game really does have the stuff to make a some sort of a SimCity-esque you know, town management game going off the fact that they have, it looks like they have the traffic done, to some extent, I mean of course these are probably just waypoints and all. And this mission is actually pretty easy for what it's worth, and would you look at that, that is probably one of the largest ships you can get inside the game, because that thing dwarfs even our, uh, our large craft over here. Yeah, I'm sure that thing just slow boats it everywhere as well. 
Are we caught on something? Because it looks like we just seem to be turning really, really slowly. There we go. Right, so that's much better. I think we're aligned now. So we go full steam, slight turn, and then we drop it back. And we're almost there. There we go. Put a slight turn on it. And I think this is close enough. There we go. A new best time as well. So I think somebody said that doing these um, boat portions actually increases your reputation as well. It looks like it does, actually, so that's quite nice to know. Um, let's see, what did we do? So we dropped some stuff off in New York, obviously. Let's go to... Oh, I see, radioactive materials to Fremantle. That'll, that'll be really nice. Are there ones to mold? Or are there anything going to the same ports, though? Yes, there is, but those ones aren't really worth it. We're actually Metro Vancouver, Metro Vancouver. So we can do a mixture of parcels to Renault. Never mind, we can't do a mixture of parcels. In that case, I think we'll do some radioactive materials. We'll ship it to um, Fremantle for some reason, but we'll get that uh, going. And we'll get this boat moving. So, um, we, could, we could try to manual undock this, but I think we'll just go with the uh, the better option there. And there we go. Let's dock in here. Let's grab some cash. And I think we'll just make it one of our goals to actually unlock all of the ports inside the world here. So I don't believe this is the one that we've checked out just yet. So I think we'll send the ship right over here. And we'll paint these areas, you know, our color, and then afterwards I think we'll establish a subsidiary just to check out um, what they allow us to do. And that'll be it. So let's see, uh, this port where we will be unlocked, um, these two we need to, we haven't unlocked, well no, we have unlocked Russia, oh I see, we just don't have enough fuel to get there. Uh, in that case, we haven't been to Cape Town, or no, we haven't been to Dakar either, so I think we'll trans, we'll try to, we'll try to transport these machinery parts there, because I'm curious as to see, like, what actually happens when you do move those goods without the, um, proper storage, if you will. So that'll be one thing that we'll do. Uh, where else haven't we we've uh, been? I believe we've been to all of these locations, so I think we'll just grab this one. Set off just like that. And oh, we can save some castaways, so we might as well. And there, would you look at that? We sold all of those radioact radioactive materials and made a, a huge markup on them, so that's quite nice. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's deliver some posts and parcels to Hamburg. That's a that's yeah, that is indeed our home port. So that's quite nice. We drop off some metal over here, pick up some more fuel. Taking a look at this list of stuff once again. Uh where haven't we been? Honolulu, I think we haven't. I'm not sure about that. So we'll cast off like that. No, we haven't been there, so that was a good call. And there we go. Rep we uh we rescue some Refugees and all. Back over here, and there we go. We bumped up our reputation once again to the level where that we uh, that we need to transport medicine, despite already having that for some time. Right. So now let's unlock Cape Town. So I think that unlocks three of the places that we need to do, and then that just leaves uh, Nanook over here, and I think Halifax and Buenos Aires, and I think that's yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll do something like that. And oh, would you look at that? We can get Halifax right here, so that's quite nice. The Spectre can dock here. And oddly enough, I think the Spectre is our largest ship. Uh, and it also travels the fastest. So that is another thing done. And I guess we can bag these two objectives at one time, so we'll try to do something like that. But fuel for this ship costs is just hideously expensive. And oh, the car finishes off. Let's grab some more fuel, check the contracts, and bam, would you look at that? Buenos Aires right there. And I think we can get here in, uh, yeah, under the contract we put up the speed for, uh, for this ship. Right, so that's Halifax unlocked. And now I don't want to repair it, I want to fill it up. Check the contracts once again. 
And let's just move some chemicals just because. Yeah, because we've still yet to see any um any downside to to actually having the containers to transport those goods. Maybe it's maybe it's um maybe like like there's a spoilage factor because I haven't been checking on that, and maybe you had to like you, well you earn less money if you if they spoil right or something along the lines of that. I don't know. This contract's probably not going to be worth it, but I just want to keep these uh, ships in motion. Oh, actually that one's really really close by. So that is yeah quite a nice finishing thing I guess. Grab some ore. We'll send that off as well. And let's see. Oh, there we go. We can grab some more of that. And I think we'll just honestly leave that port right there, un unlocked. But we're close to it, and we have enough cash to really just float things off. So I think this will be more so of a 15-minute episode. So there, um, that practically unlocks every place in the world that you can visit inside the game. And we might as well found a, a st uh, yeah, a subsidiary inside. Cape Town. So, um, with that said, apparently this will allow us to increase our business sphere of action. So I think we'll just open that up. Check out what it actually allows us to do, because my impression is that it allows us to buy ships inside Cape Town, in the sense that, yeah, the, the stuff there will show up. Um, I don't believe it unlocks any bonuses or anything from that region. So, um, that would be really cool, though, if it did, but... That is pretty much the game. I mean, inside Hamburg, I think we can buy everything that we need, really, so there's no real point in perhaps using that. Um, but it makes sense if, you, if you're, if you say, based out of, like, Reykjavik, where you can only buy um, feeders, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini Let's Play, or, you know, if, if, you, if you will, extend it a Let's Try. And I hope you guys um, stick around for some of the other series that we've got going around, such as uh, Crusader, yeah, Stronghold Crusader 2, and Ancient Space, and hopefully inside the future, the new uh, Civilization Beyond Earth game. So, um, yeah, once again, hope to see you guys there, and, uh, well, see you guys there, I guess.